<laughs> Welcome back to The Burnout Show. If you haven't checked out our other videos, be sure to do so. We have tons of great content all across the channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change the oil in a 2003 Honda Accord with a 2.4 liter engine. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is hop in the driver's seat, open up the hood, and then release the oil filler cap, which is at the top of the engine. And what that'll allow is the oil to drain much easier when we have the oil plug out later. And once again, pop the hood and then loosen the oil drain cap. Now it's time to either jack up the car with the, your usual car jack. If you have car ramps, you can drive the car right onto the ramps before doing this process or if you have a lift, you're able to lift the car off the ground. Whatever way, you can easily access the oil drain plug. Once you're able to get under the car, now it's time to drain the oil in the car. One thing to note at this point is if you just drove the car for a long trip, this oil is actually gonna be hot. So you can touch this oil pan. If it is too hot to keep your hands on, it's actually a good idea to just wait, let the engine and the oil cool down, and then change the oil in like 15 or 20 minutes. If you loosen the drain plug and just have the oil drip down your hands and it's burning hot, you can easily get burned. So like I said, if the car's been running for a while, just let it sit for 15, 20 minutes and that'll do the trick. Secondly, if the car hasn't run in a long time, it's actually good to fire up the car for maybe 10, 15 seconds so that the oil gets through the system of the engine and from there allows it to drain better. Like I said, you gotta find a happy medium between the two things. Right now, we're ready to drain the oil. So if your car is nice and cooled down, then you're good to go. Make sure you have a drain pan or something to catch the oil. So if you're at home in your driveway, I actually use Bunsen burner pans. Just make sure that it can hold the right amount of oil because you don't want it spilling over and going everywhere. Another thing to note is a lot of actual local parts stores will take the oil for free. So if you're doing this in your driveway and you're not sure how to get rid of the old oil properly, most of the time you can bring it to certain parts stores that are local to you and they will actually take it for free. Although it's not the case with every parts store, it is very common. So right now we're gonna loosen the oil drain plug which is located right here on the bottom of the engine. Once again, this is the oil pan that holds all the oil. It is a 17 millimeter bolt. So you're gonna wanna take a 17 millimeter um, wrench and put it on this. And then one thing I like to do is take a second wrench and double it up like that. And this just allows for better leverage. So what I'm gonna do is actually push to the left and this plug will drain. Now it's important to note that if you just crack loose the bolt, I call it, then oil won't come pouring out. However, as you loosen the bolt, oil will come out. So just be aware of that and have your pan ready. You can see I just cracked it loose pretty easily there. One piece of information that's actually really good to know is the darker the color of your oil, then that means the more miles you've put on it. So if it's really, really dark, that means it's a good time to change it and it's probably good that you're changing the oil. If it's more of a clear brown or more of a tan brown like color, that's actually the color of most new oil. It's almost like a yellowy light brown. And so if that's the case, then chances are your oil is pretty fresh and you didn't need to drain it. However, it's always good to give an engine new updated oil and that's ultimately will help with the longevity of your engine lasting more miles. So if you're on top of your oil changes with good oil, you'll have no problems. Another thing I'd like to note is we just took out the oil drain plug and normally there's some form of rubber or plastic gasket right on the end. It kind of looks like a washer. However, it serves as a sealant. So what it does is allows the bolt to get nice and snug on the oil drain pan and prevents the oil from draining out. So when you pull out the plug, you wanna make sure that that piece, in this case it's clear on this one, you wanna make sure that that piece stays on the bolt because you're gonna put it back in as is right after. Once you have drained most of the oil, you can see mine's still dripping here. Now it's time to take out the oil filter. So just make sure that your pan is still under that drip if there's still a drip going. If not, you can actually just put the plug back in. I'm gonna let it continue to drain while I take the oil filter off, which is located right near the drain plug, just up a little bit further in the 2.4 liter engine. Most of the time, you can get two hands on this and just loosen the filter. It threads off to the left, just like a normal bolt would. However, it's a big filter. So most of the time you can get both hands on and loosen it. You might need an oil filter wrench, which is a tool 
to get leverage on the oil filter and help loosen that. In this case, I think we're going to be okay. So what I'm gonna do once again is just loosen that and pull it off. It's important to note that it's on the side of the engine facing in. So when you pull it out, the bottom half of that filter is actually gonna be full of oil still. So you're gonna have to kind of dip it down into your pan and release all of the oil from inside the filter. So just be aware of that when you're taking off and yes, it will drip as well. So don't have it run down your arm if, if you don't want that. So at this point, now it's time to put back in the oil drain plug and the filter. Um, you don't have to get all of the oil out of the oil pan. Most of it will be just fine. So I'm just gonna put that up snug for now, wipe away the excess oil. And then next I'm gonna install the oil filter, the new oil filter. And what I like to do is put today's date and the mileage right on the bottom of the filter. And what that allows is the next mechanic to ultimately see when the last time the filter was changed and the oil was changed. Some people don't change their filter for every oil change. I do, and so I normally just write when I did it and the mileage so that even if you're not sure if you're the owner of the car, you can go under the car and, and look at the actual writing on the filter. Another thing to do is take off the plastic piece which covers the filter. Ultimately, that would prevent the filter from actually threading on and filtering the oil. So you wanna take that off and remove that. Another thing to note is there's a rubber seal right here. You wanna make sure that the old rubber seal from the old filter came off with the filter. So you can see this one stuck on there. Sometimes they actually get attached to the car and that's not good. It's important that the, the new one is on here as well. And what I like to do is actually take a little bit of old oil and I'll rub it around this seal, a very thin layer. What this does is allows the seal to not get stuck when installing it and you can thread it on much nicer. So once again, put a little bit of oil on that and then you're good to thread this on. An important thing to note at this point is you don't wanna over tighten either the filter or the oil drain plug. If you have gotten the filter into place and you're able to just get it nice and snug, with one hand, maybe give it a quick turn with two hands if you can. Otherwise, that's actually tight enough. Over time, that seal will hold just fine and it doesn't need to be cranked down with all of your strength. The drain plug is actually a very similar way. So you wanna take your 17 millimeter like we talked about before. And instead of adding a second wrench, you just wanna put this on, get it nice and tight. Once again, this is not something that you wanna over tighten. I'm not using my full strength. I'm just kind of getting it nice and snug, giving it an extra little pull. And once again, that's tight enough. This is something that will stay sealed, no problem. Once you have those two in place and not too tight, you can lower the car back down and start to add the new oil. After you've buttoned up underneath the car with the oil drain plug and the filter, now it's time to add in the new oil. So you're gonna wanna get yourself a funnel of some sort and put that right in the oil filler cap that we removed first. And then you're going to want to get your oil ready. So for the 2.4 liter, Honda Accord engine from 2003. It actually takes five weight 20 oil and it takes five quarts. So if you're replacing the filter and all of the oil, which in this case we are, I'm gonna put in five full quarts of five weight 20. Once again, you can just pour it right into the top of the engine in the oil fill cap and you should be good to go. Once you've added in all five quarts of oil to your engine, you are now good to go as long as you remove the funnel, add that filler cap back on to the top of the engine. And then it's actually a smart idea to go inside the car, start the car, let the car idle. After about 15 seconds, stop the engine and come and check the oil dipstick, which is located right here on the top of the engine. You wanna make sure that the reading is within the correct amounts suggested by Honda. If you put in five quarts of oil, you should be just fine. That's just an added security to make sure that you're good to go and your engine doesn't have too much oil or too little amount of oil. When you're adding oil in, if you're not sure how much oil to put in, it's always better to go a little bit less. However, you don't want to run your engine without a substantial amount of oil in it because that's bad for the motor. At this point, once you've checked the oil, you are all good to go. You have successfully changed the oil in a 2003 Honda Accord. If you wanna see more tutorials or how-to videos like this, be sure to check out our channel. We have content like this coming out all of the time. Hopefully this helped. Like and subscribe down below if you'd like to see more or even see more entertaining content on the rest of our channel as well. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Hope this helped and we'll see you next time.